patiently waiting on my dreams to come true hoping and praying one day that they do oh, I don't know how and I don't know when just patiently waiting till then last year I made a video on how I packed for a long trip with just one backpack and after that I really learned what worked and what didn't a lot of people seem to really enjoy that video, got some ideas for their own trips, and I really had fun being again. I have a trip coming up in February, and while it might be a little bit early, I still thought it might be a good idea to at least plan how I'm going to pack for that. And to be honest, traveling with just one carry-on, specifically one carry-on backpack, was just so pleasant that I don't think I will ever check a bag ever again. So here's how I'm packing for my next trip as a minimalist. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and please give the subscribe button's name and photo to Light Yagami. Let's get started. I'll be breaking this down into a few categories like clothes, camera gear, electronics, hygiene, and miscellaneous. And all of those categories better fit in this one backpack. And this is the Bellroy Transit backpack. And being that it's only 20 liters, I'm definitely gonna have my work cut out for me. I'm gonna show each and every individual specific item as well as exactly how I pack it in this backpack. Starting with the most obvious thing that I can't really avoid bringing are clothes. Since I can't avoid bringing clothes, I can try and control how I utilize what I am bringing to make it stretch a long way. And I should mention my trip is only for about eight days. So I think I can get away with packing pretty minimally. Beginning with my shirts, I'll be bringing a total of four t-shirts. I've talked about these before, but these t-shirts are the 72 hour tea from Proof. And they're called that because they're supposed to not stink or feel gross after several days of wearing them. And I can definitely confirm that. They also roll up very tightly, which helps me save space. According to the research I've done online, and everything on the internet is true by the way, it's supposed to be around the 50s or 60s Fahrenheit. So that means for my outerwear, I'm just going to be bringing my trucker jacket. This is exactly what I brought with me on my last trip, where I was dealing with almost the same exact temperature, and it worked great for me. And this trip in February is my partner and I going to Portugal. So to any of my Portuguese friends out there, please let me know if there's anything I should or shouldn't do while I'm there. Thanks. For my pants, I'll be bringing two pairs. These stretchy black jeans that I got from Target, which at the risk of sounding disgusting, I wear almost every single day. These will probably be worn the majority of the time we're actually out and about. And the other pants I'll be bringing are just these plain black tech joggers. These pretty much exclusively get worn when I'm around the house, but I think they'll make for something comfortable to wear when I'm actually flying or doing the travel part. They also compress very small and roll up very tightly. For socks and underwear, I'll be bringing one pair for each day of traveling. Thankfully, these all compress very small as well, and I won't go into further detail about my draws. It would have to be a tundric day in hell for me to not bring my camera stuff when traveling, or at least some of it. My favorite thing to do in the world is try to make cool videos and definitely travel videos when I have the opportunity. But camera stuff becomes very cumbersome and very annoying quickly. So I have to be choosy with what I decide to bring. In total, I'll have my camera, its batteries and charger, a very tiny tripod, and my drone and its controller. And after thinking about it, this is almost exclusively what I use to make all of my videos anyways. So it should be fine. Hygiene. For this, I'll just bring a toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, and my retainer. In my experience, it's just better to travel lighter and kind of see what I can live without when I actually get to the destination. And with some things, I can just decide when I'm there, what I actually need or can pass on. Electronics. This category will cover a few things. And those things are my phone and its charger, my AirPods, my iPad, and my charging block, and the cables. My drone batteries also double as a charging bank. I found that out accidentally while filming this. 
I truly am only bringing my AirPods and iPad with me for the flights. I absolutely hate flying, so anything to make it pass by more quickly and make it less sufferable. Finally, I'll combine everything else into a miscellaneous but essentials category. This will include my ID, my passport, my debit card, and a credit card, as well as some cash. I legitimately use my physical Apple credit card 0% of the time I'm at home, but this is my only card that I own that has zero foreign transaction fees. So for me, it makes for the perfect card to bring when I'm traveling. All of those cards and my passport are kept in this travel book that stores them pretty nicely, and I keep the cash in this hidden pocket as well. I think my mom got me this book for Christmas a couple years ago, so I'll try to find an Amazon link and put it in the description if you're interested. Do you remember showing this a while ago? It fits pretty perfectly inside my jacket pocket where it will be staying 24 seven. Maybe I'm a little paranoid, but one of my biggest fears is losing my passport while abroad. As of right now, I don't see myself adding or taking anything away from my backpack for this trip. I don't even think I'd be able to fit anything else if I wanted to. Anyways, I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration on how you might want to pack lightly for your next trip, or at the very least, some entertainment. If you've never traveled with just one single backpack before, I cannot recommend it enough. Try it out once, and I guarantee you will most likely never want to bring a checked bag ever again. I hope you got some value from this video, and as always, I appreciate the time you spent here watching. If you did like this video and you like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.